Now after learning uh, about RL and RC circuits and switching at t is equal to 0, you should also know that uh, uh, switching can take place at other times as well. So for example, as I might have uh, taught you earlier in the uh, discussion of unit step function, ut, that while ut is a function that is discontinuous when t is 0. So at t is equal to 0, this is discontinuous. Before that it is 0, after that it is 1, hence unit step function. But if we want to shift that function along t axis, so this is this is a older time, this is newer time because we are moving along time. So if we want to shift this unit step function from 0 to 1, for example, so it's not discontinuous at 0, but discontinuous at 1, we write it as u t minus 1. So minus 1 shows a delay of 1. So it is the same function, but they have been delayed by one second. So when we want to make something early, for example, make it discontinuous at minus one, we will write it as u of t plus one. So plus for early and minus for delay or late. So similarly, if in a circuit, suppose this is a circuit, we have a switch and we have a resistor and say a capacitor and somebody tells us that the switch can close and can open as well. So it closes at t is equal to 0 but then open up again at t equal to say 2 seconds and we have this resistor, say uh, 5 ohm resistors, resistor. And let us say this is a 0.2 farad capacitor with a 10 volts voltage source. And the target is to find an expression for the voltage across the capacitor. Now this is a case where the switch a single switch operates multiple times or sometimes in circuits we have uh, multiple switches so they operate at different times they may operate at same time but they may operate at different times so this is what we uh, term as sequ sequential switching so switches uh, operate in a sequence so here this is this is sequential switching at t is equal to 0 it closes and at t is equal to 2 it opens up again but here we have a problem. When this opens up, there is uh, no complete circuit. So basically the voltage is going to stay. But let us try to find this one. So now I have drawn it. Let us try to solve it. We don't have a theory for this because all the theory has been covered. So although we have not seen switches operating uh, some, at some other time other than t is equal to zero. But uh, with that theory that have been employed, for switching at t is equal to 0, we can also solve the other case as well. So for example, uh, before, before solving for this, let me ask you a simpler question. Let me draw the same circuit that we have encountered in the previous um, video. So let us say this is a voltage source V0. There is a switch, then there is R, and then a C. And we have to find the expression for this voltage Vt. And the switch somebody tells you, although you started observing the circuit and this voltage Vt, but it does not operate at t is equal to zero. Instead, it operates at t is equal to say. Now we are solving something generic. So at t is equal to t naught. So the switch operates at t naught. It does not operate at zero. So whatever V, the expression for V we will come assuming the switch operates at t is equal to 0 would be something like this we have already seen this v naught 1 minus e raised power minus t over tau which is rc here so if the switch had operated at t is equal to 0 we have already seen this thing but what if the 
switch now operates at a later time. Let us say that is T naught. T naught is a later time. It can be early. So if it is positive, it is later time. If it is negative, if this T is negative, it is an earlier time. So that's understandable because time values here are positive and here are negative. So if it operates at T naught for, for a moment in your mind, consider this is a later time. So then the expression for Vt in this case will be the same, what is basically changing? Nothing. So whatever has happened before zero in this case, here it will have happened before T naught. And whatever ha happens for t is equal to zero case after t is equal to zero, here for t naught it is going to happen at t naught. So what will change in here? So uh, remember this thing. So ut becomes ut minus one if it delays by one. Here it delays by t naught. So vt becomes vt minus t naught. Although we do, don't write it like this, but I will come to this later on. So vt minus t naught is going to be equal to v naught, and every t is going to be replaced by t minus t naught. So 1 minus e raised power minus t minus t naught. Every t is going to be replaced by t minus t naught over Rc. So this is the expression for the voltage across the capacitor if the switch operates at t is equal to t naught. Or we are not going to write it this like this because this itself is a function of time. So the voltage across the capacitor is going to be v naught. 1 minus e raised power minus t minus t naught over RC. This is the expression if the switch does not operate at t equal to 0 and put t is equal to t not equal to 0 here. What do we get? The same expression. So basically this is uh, uh, this is what we are going to imply here. So in this case so in this case the circuit was stable from minus infinity to 0 nothing uh, whatever has happened would have been settled by then so let us say there was no initial voltage on the capacitor and this, this should be given. So somebody, in this case it should be given. There are cases that we can solve uh, what the initial voltage will be. We will come to that later. So we know that there is no initial voltage on the capacitor. So we know that right after the switching it is going to remain the same. Why? Because capacitor resists sudden change in voltage. So with this knowledge, for the time between 0 and 2, so we are past 0, but we, uh, 2 has still not come. So we are in this time interval. How the circuit looks like? It is an identical circuit to this case, where the capacitor has initial 0 voltage. We have a 10 volt source coming into play in this circuit and we want to find this Vt. So this is the case for this time interval. So what Vt is going to be at infinity, this is going to be open up. So all this voltage is going to appear here. So this would be 10 minus plus initial voltage 0 minus final voltage 10 e raised power minus t over tau and tau in this case is Rc which is 5 into 0.2 which is one second. Units of tau, tau is or seconds. E raised power minus t over tau. So we are going to get t over one, which is minus t. So Vt is equal to 10 minus 10 e raised power minus t or in whatever way you wish to write it. But this is only for this interval. When we say we want to find the expression for Vt, we mean for all time. So before t is equal to 0, we know it's 0. And after t is equal to 0, so before t is equal to 0, it is 0. How to convert this thing, uh, this expression to say that before t is equal to 0, it is 0. Although this specifically is for this interval. But if I write this expression in this way, what does it tell you? And multiply this whole thing by shoot t. It tells that is this ut tells that before t is equal to 0 it is 0 and after t is equal to 0 this is 1 so this holds. So however uh, in this case uh, let us not take this for the moment let us uh, handle it piecewise. So what is going to happen after two t is equal to 2, 2 has passed? 
so for case for the case t greater than 2 how things will look like the switch would have opened up so what we will be left with an r and a c in open configuration so no current can flow so the, the voltage of the capacitor is going to stay whatever it is and what would that be what will be the voltage of the capacitor at 2 so remember we can use equality signs here as well maybe not here or and here as well so the case of t equal to 2 is common to this case as well as this case so whatever the voltage of the capacitor is at t equal to 2 here will stay here because of the property of the capacitor it does not suddenly change voltage so from this expression we can find what is v2 and that would be 10 1 minus e raised power minus 2 you can use your calculators to find whatever it is and it is going to be obviously uh, this term is going to decay so e raised power 0 is 1 so e raised power minus 1 is 0 0.632 it will be further uh, lower and 1 minus this thing is going to be something so we are going to have a constant here value you can find using your calculator let us say it is a capital a so v2 is a so in this case for this interval t greater than 2 vt will be a only which can be computed from here so overall we can say that vt is equal to 0 when t is less than 0 is 10 1 minus e raised power minus t when t is between 0 and 2 and it is a when t is greater than 2 you can put equality signs or don't uh, i am not going to deduct marks for this so this is how we solve uh, the case of sequential switching but this thing t minus t naught has not appeared here because of this thing okay, there is, is it's not a closed circuit so suppose suppose instead of this switch we are given this thing so somebody says we have a voltage source we have a capacitor a resistor and then we have a capacitor and don't no switch here and then we have another resistor here so we have a switch which has double throw so it it, it makes contact here as well and it makes contact here as well and then we have this capacitor say it is same capacitor we want to find the expression for its voltage and somebody tells okay okay so we have a switch here as well let us draw this one as so this is not connected we have a switch here at t is equal to zero this closes so 10 volt volt source comes into play and then this switch goes from this point a to point b we can show it like a dashed line because this is the position right now at t is equal to two seconds this switch is thrown from here to here so what so uh, let us let us say we know that initially the capacitor has no voltage so now the capacitor was not charged initially it was here but the switch was open so this was not in the circuit so it's zero volt still there stay there at t is equal to zero this closes and this source starts charging this capacitor but it's going to charge this capacitor fully in five time constants and five time constant for this circuit the tau is let us call it tau one is five into 0.2 which is one seconds so this capacitor is going to fully charge in 5 tau 1 that is 5 seconds whereas before it can fully charge at t is equal to 2 second this switch is thrown to this location and this is uh, disconnected from the circuit and the capacitor gets connected with another resistor let us say it is it is 20 ohm So what's what's going to happen the capacitor was still charging charged to some voltage but then it gets connected here and then it start discharging why because there is no source in here it's a circuit of natural response so for this circuit can you see that the tau for this circuit is different it is still rc but now the capacitor is not connected to that resistor whatever the capacitor sees the resistance the capacitor sees is basically what is being used here 
and in this case that would be 20 into 0.2 and we are going to get 4 seconds. So the capacitor is going to discharge slowly. In 5 time constants, which is 20 seconds, it's going to fully discharge. Whereas it was going to be charged in 5 seconds, but going to discharge in 20 seconds. And so on. So what will be the expression for Vt is a question. And now I, I hope you can very easily understand that you can directly easily comprehend that Vt would be 0 before t is equal to 0 it would be because the circuit is the same as this one so it's going to be 10 1 minus e raised power minus t between 0 and 2 seconds and it will be now for this circuit when this circuit will come into play when this circuit will come into play we have a capacitor with an initial voltage so v naught here is a that we computed here this a volts and then we have a resistor of 20 ohm so this is a circuit of natural response so the voltage in this case would have been equal to if, if uh, this started at t is equal to 0 we already know that vt expression for vt is a v naught a e raised power minus t over t naught so minus t over 4 here this would have been the case if this started at t is equal to 0 but this does not start at t is equal to 0 in this case it started at 2 it started at 2 so what are we going to get here we are going to get everything that would have happened at t is equal to 0 is going to be shifted by 2 delayed by 2 because switch switch operates later after 2 seconds have passed so here we are going to get a whatever this value will come to be capacitor is not fully charged to 10 it will be something less than 10 a and sorry this expression e raised power minus now here comes that thing because we are delaying this part only minus t minus 2 a delay by 2 divided by 4 is the case when time more than two seconds have passed so this is a expression for the voltage across the capacitor in this circuit with sequential switching so i hope you understand the uh, uh, the the concept here and you can easily solve the um, circuits with sequential switching